Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some of the highlights for November 2021. This one is a list of paid systems and tools. In the last video I already covered the best free new assets, so go watch that if you haven't seen it. And in the next video I will be covering the top assets and effects. As always there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon CodeMonkey10 to get 10% off your order. By the way, you're not crazy, we are indeed already in December, but this is still November's video. Because of Black Friday I had to change some videos around, so this one is slightly delayed. And speaking of Black Friday, the sale on the Asset Store is still live, but ends right tomorrow. So if there's something you've wanted to get, then definitely get it now. All of the best assets are discounted, and there are still tons of lightning deals, all at 70% off. So if something interests you, then this is the best discount you'll ever get. Also, my own courses are still on a Black Friday discount. Learn how to make games from start to finish and learn everything about Unity. So if you've ever wanted to get them, then this is also the best time. Both these sales end tomorrow, so check them out quickly. Alright, so starting off with a really awesome tool for taking your spreadsheet animations and making them really fluid. With just one click, you can turn your flipbooks and make them extremely smooth. The results really speak for themselves, quite a massive difference. Flipbooks or sprite sheets are always an excellent way to have some very complex looking visuals but make them really performant. The main downside is usually they look a bit janky due to the limited frame rate, but with this they look perfectly smooth. Next up, if you need some really high end liquids, here's Zebra Liquids. I actually also covered this one in the free assets video because it also has a free version. That one has some limitations, but this one has everything. Visually, you can see it looks really excellent, great visuals, and it reacts perfectly with all of the colliders. Lots of splashes, waves, and everything. It's GPU powered, so that makes it very performant, works in both URP and HDRP. Next up, polish your text with Anima Text. Wherever you have text in your game, usually it always looks better if it's animated in some way. This one's got tons of effects, over 80, which you can then customize in tons of different ways. Works with both the legacy UGUI as well as Text Mesh Pro. Also works with rich text tags, so you can apply some bold, italic color and it all works perfectly. And it also works with any emojis, sprites or anything. So if you have any sort of text in your game, you can make it look a bit better by making it animated. Then if you want a nice level editor tool, here's Edimap. It helps you design levels both in 2D and 3D. Just click to select an object and click to place it. It's optimized to reduce draw calls, and it also supports depth, so you can easily make levels with multiple floors. Next up, manage your UI with Doozy UI Manager. This is one of those tools that is extremely capable and very complex, but if you do take the time to learn it, it can be very useful. It contains multiple individual tools for doing all kinds of things. You've got a tool for easily animating UI elements, another one for sending messages between objects, and also a nice visual tool to see the flow of your buttons. It's already got tons of reviews, so plenty of people have already found this very helpful. Up next, here's a fun one, Stick Figure. It's a tool for creating and animating 2D characters. Now, this one is not based on bones, which means it has some pros and cons. You can easily animate the characters by just moving the handles, but also without bones makes it a bit hard to do some ragdolls. So it really depends on what style you're going for. Seems like this would be great for animators who want to quickly animate some things inside of Unity. Then here's an interesting one for object editing. It's a save system for your editor. It has support for many, many saves. So what you can do is you place down objects in your scene, you hit a button and the exact state is saved. Then if you want, you can load that state back. Meaning that this can be super useful for helping you avoid having to create multiple scenes or multiple prefabs with all of the objects in different states. Like for example, in a scene with a bar fight, you can save the state with all of the props in their place, then another save for all of the props on the floor, and then dynamically simply load which one you want. This works with pretty much everything, so you can also play around with lighting settings, save and load, play with signs, weather, UI, or anything. Definitely a very unique tool that I can see being quite useful. Up next, if you need some really nice, realistic rivers, here is Infinity River. Like the name implies, it's a water simulator, primarily meant for simulating rivers. The main thing being that you can place down rocks anywhere and the water simulation accurately goes around it. But of course, liquid doesn't really just mean water, so it can be lava, mud, or anything you want. Up next, here's an interesting tool to create tons of content for your 2D games. You select the various regions that make up the sprite, and then you can easily apply all kinds of modifications to each region. So you can play around the hue, saturation, or make it completely random. 
This can really help cut down the amount of work you need to do if you have lots of similar looking items. And being able to define those regions means that it looks much better than having to tint the entire object. And finally, here's another fluid simulator, lots of them this month. This one is in 2.5D, so it definitely enables different use cases from the other ones. It's called fluid simulation, so it's really not just liquids. It works great for fire, smoke, gas or anything. It really looks great for some smoke while the character moves, or maybe just some paint swirling around. And since the simulation is in 2D, that means that it should be very performant. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity Asset Store for November 2021. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Check the full playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets, and let me know if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. And don't forget the Black Friday sales that end really soon, there's one on the Asset Store and also a sale on my own courses. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.